Hello, hello, and welcome to the Initiative Project podcast. I hope that you can hear me okay. I am sitting outside in the Outer Banks. I'm on vacation this week. And so I decide, because I'm doing this episode solo, that I would talk a little bit about fitness and health and vacations. And of course, you're going to hear it from my perspective. So keep in mind that everybody is different. And so a lot of this is just my opinion, but it may resonate with some of you. So let's talk about vacation. Um, Since I'm on vacation, I'm going to discuss the vacation and your health goals. And that is goals with a Z. Anyhow, I struggled to organize my thoughts around this topic a little bit because different people will need to handle vacations a little bit differently. Um, You know, for example, if you work out regularly, you may, you know, want to do a couple of workouts on your vacation, but vacations are definitely not a good time to start a workout program. So if you're not working out regularly, you know, going on vacation shouldn't be a time where you're thinking, oh, I'm going to start working out. Um... But let's just dive right into this. So first, let me tell you what not to do. There was this girl, and every time a vacation approached, she would try to diet down to a smaller size to look great in a bikini or whatever. Problem is, the vacation would signal the quote-unquote end of the diet, and she'd go completely nuts while on vacation, eat everything in sight, and gain 15 pounds, and still not feel comfortable in a bathing suit on the beach because she was so bloated from eating so much every day, and her whole focus on the vacation was food and when she's going to eat next. The end. Okay, it's me. The girl is me. So, vacation rule, or... I hate rules, so we'll call this vacation suggestion number one. Don't go on some crazy restrictive crash diet six weeks before your vacation in an attempt to lose large amounts of weight or look perfect. That approach usually backfires. And let me mention here that the model trying to sell you her six-week flat belly program has been working out and perfecting her nutrition for the past six years, not six weeks. Miracles cannot be achieved in six weeks rant over for now. Vacation suggestion number two, don't expect yourself to be a saint on vacation. I've had so many clients tell me that they're going to quote unquote try to be good on vacation. I've, t- I've done it myself, tried to be good, and I always disappoint myself. Those words alone pretty much guarantee that I'm going to quote unquote be bad. First off, being good is really subjective and open to interpretation unless you are really specific about what's good and what's bad. Further, you label yourself as good or bad based on choices you'll often have to make in the moment, out of your normal environment when you're on vacation. And these things are often not within your control. If you have an ice cream cone with your kid on a vacation, does that make you a, does that make you bad because it's not a good choice? Keep in mind that vacations take you out of your normal environment and away from your normal schedule. Meals may fall at different times than normal. Sometimes you won't have access to healthy options, etc., etc. It's very hard to stay regimented. A vacation is not the time to embark on a new exercise program or a meal plan unless you're headed to a place specifically meant for that, like a yoga camp or a health spa. Stay flexible, have fun, relax, and worry less about your diet. If you don't try so hard to to quote unquote be good, you won't feel so awful when you're less than perfect. And in in an in a strange twist of fate, at least this is true for me, when I don't put so much pressure on myself, I don't tend to overeat or overindulge nearly as much. Vacation rule, or uh, let's go, okay, we're going with suggestion. Vacation suggestion number three, stay active. You don't have to exercise per se, but you should try to remain active doing fun things. Walking on the beach, riding bikes, kayaking, swimming, vacations are natural, uh, offer natural opportunities to stay active. So you don't have to just sit on the beach the whole time. Just stay active, but at least have fun while you're doing it. You don't need to do formal workouts. And this is something that I went through in a blog post that I just, uh, that I just wrote to sort of complement um, this podcast. Vacation suggestion number four, take a break. 
This is for the folks who like to exercise and are on formal training programs at home. Um, and again, as I mentioned in my blog post, I am on a formal training program at home and I bust my ass five or six days a week. When I'm on vacation, I don't need to work out and I choose not to. Vacation is a perfect time to take a week off of formal training. Your body needs it. I work out really hard at home and I, and, and I have myself on a, train, a formal training program as I mentioned. And I don't deviate from that very much. Vacation gives me the opportunity to take both a mental and a physical break from that regimented schedule. My body is grateful for the rest and I come home refreshed, repaired, and ready to hit it hard again in the gym. And uh, you might be able to hear the seagulls in the background here. They're making lots of noise. Vacation suggestion number five, treat yourself. What's vacation without enjoying some local delicacies and delicious foods? Food is a part of the enjoyment of life. I wish people would just get over that fact so that they can move on. Nature gave us taste buds for a reason. We are supposed to enjoy foods. So stop giving yourself such a damn hard time for wanting some ice cream. Or, you know, when you're near the coast and you can get fresh tuna, having some fresh seafood, you know, that type of thing. Vacation suggestion number six, treat yourself mindfully. So here's the catch, which is not really a catch at all, unless you, view, unless you view the world that way. If you are going to treat yourself, do it right. You can get McDonald's anywhere, but you can't get Chicago pizza anywhere but Chicago. You can't get a fresh spicy tuna roll from a fish who's still flopping anywhere but near the coast. You can't get fresh Alaskan salmon anywhere but Alaska. Every area has its specialty and its delicacies. You can't get fresh New York Ghirardelli cheesecake anywhere but New York City. Do you get my point? If you're going to treat yourself, at least make it worth it and really enjoy it. Stop eating so damn fast. Smell it. Look at it. Taste it. Really enjoy your food. You may find that you eat less when you do that. A few other tips that work for me on vacations... The first one, and this is probably most important for me, and I think, uh, you know, especially for women who struggle with, you know, worrying about their body and having to get into a bathing suit and all this other stuff, no matter how I feel about my body, which is usually, I usually don't feel great about my body, but no matter how I feel about my body, I mentally commit to leaving those feelings behind and enjoying myself. I go in with the mentality of, let it all hang out, baby. That way I'm not tempted to hide my body or excuse myself from family activities because I'm worried about the way I look. And for those of you who are rolling your eyes because I'm not fat, don't judge. I'm as insecure about my body as anyone else. Being normal weight or quote unquote skinny doesn't automatically equal comfortable in your own skin. Number two, I buy clothes and bathing suits that fit and flatter my now body. I didn't always do this. I used to, before a vacation, go shopping and buy a size smaller <laughs> than what I was wearing. And then I would try and shoehorn myself into those, clothing on the va those clothes on the vacation. So instead of going on a crash diet and trying to force your body to fit whatever you think it should, try taking the opposite approach. I feel like I, you know, I want and deserve to feel comfortable on my vacation and you should feel that way too. And that means not trying to diet down and not shoehorning myself into clothes or bathing suits that are, that are too small. If that means I have to go buy bigger sizes like I had to do this year, so be it. I feel better both physically and mentally in clothes that fit. And no matter your size, get out there and enjoy yourself. Be with your family. You deserve to be on the beach in a bathing suit as much as anyone else, and you'll probably never see any of those people ever again. Next tip. I try something new. I like to work out, but I don't want to follow my same old lifting and cardio program on vacation. I love trying new classes when I go on vacation. When I was in Hawaii, um, I hired a yoga instructor for yoga on the beach, and I took hula lessons. Um, when we were in the Bahamas, we rented stand-up paddle boards and got some instruction there. Um, I signed up for a guided nature tour. I've signed up for guided nature tours and kayak lessons. Um, there's a bunch of stuff you could do. You could try rock climbing. Um, vacation can be a time to explore fun forms of exercise versus trying to stick with a formal training program. 
Next one is we rent houses, condos, or rooms with kitchens. Um, I have no desire to eat out for every meal. Not only is it way too expensive to do that on vacation, it's a sure way to feel like crap and ruin any progress you've made on your health journey. We eat out for dinner pretty much every night on vacation, and I get whatever the heck I want. But all the other meals that we eat, so all of our meals and snacks, are in our rental room or house. And I generally try to eat healthy for those meals. And again, I'm, I eat healthy because it makes me feel good to eat healthy. Um, I don't like feeling like crap, so for me, this is a no-brainer. And the last tip that I have for vacations is if we travel by car, I do sometimes pack a travel cooler. Um, I literally despise fast food so much that I'd rather starve than stop at one of those places. And Panera and Chipotle are pretty much the only ones that I like to eat at because they actually um, have some quality options. But those two restaurants, you can't find those around every corner. So I usually do pack a small cooler with hard-boiled eggs, jerky, nuts, granola bars, apples, and stuff like that for travel days. And uh, when we're traveling by air, I just eat whatever is available when I'm hungry and, and I don't worry about it. So that's pretty much all I've got for this solo episode. Just remember that if you're headed out on vacation this summer or this year, vacation is about fun and family. Try to let your cares drop away a little bit, release your regimented schedules, de-stress, and have some fun. You can get back on track when you get home. So thanks for listening, you guys. I'm going to go have fun on vacation. Bye. Hey everyone, this is TJ and Kelly with the Initiative Project Podcast. If you like what you heard, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions you'd like us to cover, please email us at initiativepodcast at gmail.com. See you next time.